It's time for another Horror Room update. How's it going everybody? Tommy Star here. Thank you for clicking on this video. We got a fun one today. Yes, after almost six months, I think Halloween was the last time I did it when I, when I did my complete man cave tour. But after almost six months, it is time for a new horror room update. I've gotten a lot of stuff over the past six months that I've been uh, waiting to show you guys. I know a lot of the pickups um, in this update are mostly come from Monster Mania, and I know you guys seen those already in my pickups video, but now, you know, it's their new additions. I got to show them in this update. Now you get to kind of see where I've displayed them. Uh, plus a lot of other stuff I picked up. You know, at FYE, I, I get a lot of horror stuff out there occasionally when I when I drive out there. Um, you know, online, eBay, Amazon, whatever. You know, there's just there's a lot of stuff, and I'm excited for you guys to see. So it's been too long. Let's do it. My latest additions to the horror collection. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of start at one end of the man cave and we'll just work our way around. So that means we're gonna start out with the Funko Pops. So I've uh, I've gotten a lot more. I've had to get more of these shelves, uh, but I think they look really cool. I've moved them over to a, a different wall and they all look really great together. So uh, I, I picked up, I think I don't know, about seven, eight more new ones. So uh, I got these four 8-bit uh, Jasons and Freddies. Uh, the two NES ones were exclusive to GameStop. I pre-ordered them and went and picked them up on release day at the store. Um, love them. Absolutely love them. I mean, you know, I, I I was happy to hear that they were coming up with NES versions in general, but let alone to give it this 8-bit look, I just thought it was badass. So there's, of course, Jason, Freddy, both with the NES look. And then they also released uh, other versions, uh, other 8-bit uh, versions that are that had the classic looks. Um, which I wasn't going to get at first, but I just came across them at FYE one day and uh, I just, I had to get them. <laughs> you know, they're not expensive. So, uh, yeah, there's those four. Badass. And then we come over here. And of course, uh, one of the Funko Pops I've been after forever, the Captain Spaulding. And uh, you guys all know how much I dropped on this bad boy, but believe it or not, it ended up being like half half the price that it usually runs for like on eBay and whatnot. But uh, I'm so happy to finally have Captain Spaulding uh, in the collection. Uh, the next rare one I gotta get if I ever find it is Sam from Trick or Treat. Hopefully I'll, I'll find him at some point. Uh, so we'll just work our way down looking for new ones. Um, uh, here we go, I finally got uh, Ash from Army of Darkness. You know, I needed to have Ash in here of course. Picked him up at Monster Mania as well. And oh, I don't know if I told you I got uh, uh, Captain Spaulding at uh, Monster Mania. Picked up uh, Alex from uh, Clockwork Orange. Picked him up at Monster Mania as well. Uh, let's see here. Alien. I had to get an, uh, the Alien Pop. This is just the classic looking one. Uh, picked him up at Monster Mania also. And the Crow. I picked him up at uh, Monster Mania. And then Krampus. I, I think I found Krampus at Hot Topic. A long time ago. I think around Christmas time, to be honest with you. But he's just badass. I, I love him. Uh, so, yeah, there's all my new Funko Pops. And like I said, I just think it's just looking badass here. I still got uh, a few more uh, that will definitely fill these shelves. So, just keep working on it. All right, next up here we got... Uh, you guys have seen this poster before, but I am going to start having all the, uh, the actors who have played Jason sign it. Um, and so far we got one. <laughs> I, I met uh, Tom Morga at uh, Monster Mania, had him sign it, so he's the first one. Uh, so we got a long way to go, but we'll get, hopefully get them all. I picked that up at uh, Monster Mania too, it wasn't that much. I just love it, just all the looks of Jason throughout all the movies. Um, I used to have this as like, I think like my background on Facebook. I, I just came across this one day, this picture online, and I put it as my Facebook background and all of a sudden, um, <laughs> I seen it, uh, you know, a, a picture at Monster Mania. I'm like, oh my God, that's awesome. So I had to pick that up. That's so badass. And I think we go straight up. There, of course, is my picture with Tim Curry, uh, the professional photo op that I got. Love it. There's my Halloween poster, of course, signed by John Carpenter right there. Met him, I met him at uh, Monster Mania as well. And then looking through here, just showing some more pictures uh, or some new pictures. Uh, there's my buddy Craig and I with uh, John Carpenter himself. 
uh, Herod Blank, who played, uh, you know, Rudy, uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Down below, there's Tom Morga, uh, which is the imposter Jason. I just showed you his signature uh, from uh, A New Beginning, Part 5. Um, let's see what else is new here. Oh, here's my buddy Craig and I with uh, Richard Dreyfus, badass. And I think that might be it for pictures. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. All right, we'll keep working our way around. Right on the stairs here where I keep all my uh, t-shirts from the conventions I go to. Of course, here is Monster Mania 39. Love it, just with all the clowns, you know, with Pennywise and uh, Killer Clowns, Candyman Jason, uh, Georgie from It down there. I mean, just, just badass. So yeah, these are where I keep all my convention shirts. Just three so far, but we're working on it. These I thought were kind of cool. I just kind of came across uh, these at uh, Toys R Us. Toys R Us, rest in peace. <laughs> not, uh, he's not new, but uh, these are just these little plushies, uh, horror plushies that uh, re were released by Funko. And this is actually the whole set in this particular little series. Um, and they weren't that much. And I, at first I only picked up uh, Pennywise. You can see him here. Um, but then I think there was only three other ones to the collection. Um, so I just picked them all up and <laughs> I just took this box. I, you know, this is what the, where the, how they're displayed at Toys R Us. And I just asked the person, I'm like, Hey, if I buy all these, can I have the box? <laughs> but I just thought it looks cool. And that's Michael, Freddie, of course, Pennywise and Jason. So I thought those were kind of cool. I had to pick those up I, and I like them sitting in that little box like that. So, yeah, I got this uh, Pennywise hoodie, which is badass. My son got me this for Christmas. And uh, um, I asked for a uh, um, a 5X uh, hoodie. I typically wear like 4X in shirts, but I like uh, when things are a little bit loose. So they order this 5X. It says 5X right on the tag. And, yeah, this Jess wears like in a guy's. Jess probably wears like a, a large or an extra large in guys. And this doesn't even fit her. <laughs> so this is not a 5X. This is the tiniest thing I've ever seen. So maybe one day I'll fit into that bad boy. But until then, my son got this for me for Christmas. I absolutely loved it. I don't know what the deal is with the company. Why they call this a 5X when it's actually like a 1X. It's so stupid. Seriously, guys, I ain't kidding you. But <laughs> I still had to show you that. I just have it hanging down here. So I love it. If you guys remember when I went uh, on my trip and I went and met uh, Dr. Movie 91... Uh, his wife and uh, his, uh, him and his wife uh, gave me these uh, these bead arts that they do. Um, I, I don't even really know the name of what what you call these things, but they just handed me a couple of them. Uh, this course is my favorite, uh, the NES Jason uh, hockey mask. And then of course we got Texas Chase Massacre Leatherface and uh, Exorcist Reg in there uh, throwing up. I, I love them. So they just gave them to me and I was just, I thought that was really cool. And I'm, I'd like to get a lot more from them to be honest with you. Cause they, they, they got a whole bunch of them that they make, but thought those were cool. I just kind of put them up here with, uh, across this bar where I keep like my magnets and pins and bumper stickers, all sorts of stuff. But thought those were badass. Uh, see down here, we picked up Glenn, <laughs> got him at Monster Mania. Um, doesn't exactly go with these two size wise, but you know, I had the three big dolls, and now I got three little dolls, so it wasn't that much. Pick that up. All right, so here's a little look at where I keep my Scream Factory posters. <laughs> Don't really have much room down here. Uh, completely run out of, like, wall space and whatnot, so I just kind of hung these up on, like, my steps coming down. <laughs> but um, So the new ones that you haven't seen here, we, of course, we got uh, Misery, um, one of the probably my all-time favorite Scream Factory release so far, and signed by Joel Robinson. Uh, my buddy Craig and I got to meet him out at Monster Mania and had him sign that. Uh, Drag Me to Hell. I got that from my buddy Craig. Actually, I got both of those from Craig um, when I went to the trip. Um, and I had uh, Joe Robinson sign Misery. Uh, this, of course, came with the big deluxe Silent Night, Deadly Night set that I got. You know, with the movie and the figure and all that. Um, and then I picked up the Garbage Pail Kids movie poster because it's, you know, one of my all-time favorite movies. One of my all-time favorite Screen Factory releases, believe it or not. Um, and then I, I just hung these up. You guys have seen these before. I just never had them framed. So, yeah. So that's uh, all my Screen Factory posters. I'm pretty much out of room now, so I don't know what I'm going to do but if I end up getting more. So I don't keep... Uh, these are my pops that I don't keep with my horror section. As You guys have seen these before on my Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, this is the uh, pop that uh, Craig gave me when I went there. Uh, Sweet Tooth from Twisted Metal. Um, just badass. He just gave this to me as a gift. 
So I keep this over here with like my other like video game pops, as you can see here. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, here's a little, here's where I keep all my little pamphlets for the, um, for the conventions I go to. There's Monster Mania. All right, so you guys know, I, you know I've collected all these uh, horror reaction figures, and there are a couple more that I wanted to get, um, kind of horror-wise. And, of course, I picked up uh, Alien, Funko Reaction. I picked that up at Monster Mania as well. And we come down here, and, of course, I had to pick up Predator. So now I got both the Predator and the uh, Alien uh, Funko Reaction figures. So it's kind of sad. Apparently, Funko sold the rights to this line of figures to some other company so we won't be seeing Funko release any more of these but uh yep got these from my buddy Craig so happy to have these I talked about them in my pickups video you know the old classic dolls that were sold at like Spencer's Michael Myers and then uh, of course the the talking Freddy Krueger still in box he gave me a hell of a deal on them um, I'm just hoping to try to collect all these now because there's a bunch of them and I just remember wanting to get these back in the day when I was really young and uh, never could, so happy to start the collection of these now, so. All right, so moving on to my NECA section here, clothes and ultimate figures. I got a lot of new ones here. Um, so this one here is new. I had to pick up, you know, I already have the, you know, the classic look of uh, Leatherface from the original movie. I had to pick up the uh, pretty face one, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, had to get that just to kind of complete the collection. Such a fan of NECA Ultimate. NECA cold figures are just badass. And then the other new one is this one down here. The Hitchhiker set. Uh, of course, you know, the Nubbins Collector set where you get uh, the Hitchhiker from the original and then what he looked like in uh, Texas Chance Massacre Part 2. Badass deluxe set, you guys. Oh, I'm so happy when that got released. It's a better look at it here. Okay, and then moving along... Finally, NECA finally released the uh, Ultimate Chucky. You guys have seen this before as well, but here it is all set up on the shelf. Just badass. Um, these are all new. I finally got all the, uh, the Freddy Ultimates. There's part one. And then we got part two, which is the newest one. And that came, came in a bigger box, like more of a square compared to like a rectangle. Uh, I don't know if it, NECA's just going to start doing it like that or if this was just so deluxe that it, it wouldn't fit in a regular one, but there's part two, Freddy's Revenge, and then, of course, Dream Warriors back here. Finally got that one. And then we come up here, and I, I have, you've already seen all the Jasons, but I did pick up this from FYE. NECA released this through, uh, recently, the uh, Camp Crystal Lake accessory set where you get, like, the, uh, the dock from part three, you get the sign from part four, and then you also get like the whole setup for Jason Lives with the, you know, the rock and the chain underneath the water. I still have this in box. I, <laughs> I had to get it because it's just badass looking, but I don't quite know what I'm going to uh, do with it yet because I keep my figures, you know, in package. And the only way you really get the true effect of how cool it looks is if you take them out of the package. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet, you guys. I, I haven't decided. I just wanted to have it. Maybe I'll just take all the accessories out of the box and just kind of set them up. I don't know. I, I haven't decided yet. And then the last ultimate one here is, of course, the NES Freddy. I had to pick up. So now I got all the Freddies. I got everything, basically, now that I wanted. All the Freddies, all the Jasons, Chuckies, uh, Leatherfaces, uh, and then a few other ones like, uh, you know, Captain Spaulding, Scream down there. Um, and then, uh, I'm trying to think, I think that's pretty much it. But, uh, as far as new ones coming out there, there's a, here's all my clothes, uh, you know, Freddy's up here. You've seen before. There's another Dream Warrior, Roy, uh, Dream Warriors coming out, uh, in a couple months. Uh, it's just like a new look. Um, and I don't know, I don't know why they can't continue with like part six, but apparently they're making another part three of him. And then there is a uh, Ultimate Part 2, Jason, coming. Cannot wait for that. Of course, the Ultimate It's coming out. You know, the old Pennywise and the new Pennywise. I mean, a lot of cool stuff coming out this year I'm really excited about. But uh, here's all my NECA stuff. I got them all set up here. I just think it looks badass. Most of this stuff I pretty much got like I ordered either on Amazon or eBay. 
Um, some of the stuff I probably got in store, like the, the accessory kit I got at FYE. Uh, but I think for the most part, uh, all the ones I needed, I, I ordered. Um, you know, I just ordered off eBay or online, so. These are badass uh, over here by my NES collection. I picked these up at Monster Mania. You've seen these before as well. These are just a uh, little uh, framed art uh, from uh, the two video games. I just love them. I mean, this this artist is badass. He goes to a lot of conventions. I've seen him before, and uh, I'm hoping to uh, see him again if I, you know, and you know, in any future conventions that I go to. So, yeah, but I just I, I love them. They're just badass. This this isn't exactly new. You guys have seen this before, um, but I decided to get this figure in, uh, you know in a display because of how rare and expensive it is. But uh, I've talked about this before. This is a really rare Leprechaun figure, one of the only Leprechaun figures really you can find. And as far as I know, I read into it, this was uh, part of a giveaway that they did when the first Leprechaun movie came out. And uh, this was really hard to find, and if you do find it, it's expensive. It can go for a few hundred dollars. Um, I, I bought this about 15 years ago maybe. Um, and I think I paid about a hundred bucks then, um, on eBay from somebody and, uh, it took forever looking for it. And finally one day it popped up on eBay and I jumped on it, but definitely one of my prized possessions here. Um, you know, just a little rubber figure, but like, it's like really the only leprechaun figure in existence. So I decided, you know what, uh, he's so rare and so valuable that I want to kind of protect him. So I could put together this cool little, uh, shadow box thing. I just stuck them in here and, uh, you know, just kind of decorated it, you know, put the, you know, leprechaun letters up there. Um, little pot of gold, you know, just, just to make it look kind of neat. But I just thought that just looks badass now. Just, you know, just the way I had this all displayed and he fit in there just perfectly. So I just had to show you guys that just love it. Back here, I picked this up from Craig as well. This little, uh, Simpsons Treehouse of horror, a little deluxe, uh, figure set here. Thought that would look cool in the, uh, horror collection. So it looks cool just sitting back there behind Christine. Grab this from Toys R Us. Uh, whoops. Everything's falling there. This is a little vinyl set from Funko. Uh, a little double set of uh, Freddy and Jason. Just seen that there. It was cheap, like 10, 15 bucks. So had to grab it. Yeah, this here I uh, got from my buddy Craig as well. Just the classic, you know, McFarlane uh, movie maniac Chucky from part two. Uh, in, you know, obviously in package. Um, I just, he, he sold me this for a good deal. I already had this out of the package, um, but I gave it to my son now because now I have it in package and which is, you know, the way I wish I had all my figures, you know, like all those over there are just a lot of old figures I, I've had forever that I used to take out of packages when I was <laughs> younger. You know, I wish I could go back and put them all back in boxes, but there's that. All right, working our way down. As you see, I've, uh, done some rearranging with my movies, but, uh, we won't get into that. Let's just look over here for <laughs> my picture with uh, Craig and I with uh, Joel Robinson, uh, who does the On the Screen Factory artwork. Met him. Had to put the picture up here on the Screen Factory shelf. Of course, here's the uh, here's the the Billy figure from uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night that came with the Screen Factory deluxe set. Just badass. So cool. So that just looks so cool. So here's the whole, you know, you've seen this a bunch of times. I just thought that would look so cool because, you know, Craig is a man that wouldn't have the Scream Factory, Factory collection if it wasn't for him. So he belonged on the shelf. Mm. All right. So, of course, we picked these up uh, at uh, Monster Mania. Uh, little Lego figures of uh, original Pennywise and new Pennywise. Mm. And then this right here, you guys. Oh, now you've seen this before. This is what my sister made for me years ago. Uh, you know, a Pennywise figure, custom made, um, did all the paint and the gluing and the sewing and everything. And she surprised me this past Christmas with a, a new Pennywise figure. And I was just blown away. She did just as good, if not better. I just, just unbelievable. Just look at the face. And I mean, it's just so cool. Um, cause you know, they've never really made, uh, figures of Pennywise other than like pops and whatnot you know, vinyl figures, but they never really made figures up until now that NECA is releasing an ultimate edition of each one of these. But still, I would cherish these forever. I love my sister so much for making these for me and uh, just can't believe she surprised me with this new Pennywise and she did such a fantastic job. I mean, look at that outfit. She sewed it all herself. 
glue paint. I mean, it's just badass. And then this right here. Move these down. Uh, so happy I was finally able to pick this up. This is the brand new Living Dead doll of uh, Pennywise. Uh, this came out around Christmas time, and I seen it at FYE back then, and I couldn't get it because, you know, I didn't really want to drop 50 bucks on this at Christmas time. You know, I had a lot of people to buy for. But, uh, I don't know, it was like a month later or something like that. I was out at FYE again. It was still there, and I was so happy to finally grab it. So, just just gorgeous. I'd love to get more of these Living Dead dolls. I mean, they got Living Dead dolls for a lot of different horror characters. I got two so far. I got uh, this one now in uh, Captain Spaulding. But hopefully I can... Uh, you know, start finding more of them. But just looks gorgeous uh, on the uh, Pennywise shelf. So, badass. All right, very happy about this, you guys. I finally completed my uh, NECA clothed Jason figures. Uh, took a long time. Uh, I was pretty much down to the two expensive ones. Um, and I finally got them. So, I, you know, I've had these. So this one's new. This is, of course, the Part 3 figure. He's he's expensive. He's like 100 bucks. So I'm so happy to finally have him. And you've seen, of course, Roy. I've always had Roy. And then now part six, my favorite in the series. And he's expensive too. He was like 100 as well. So now I got uh, all the NECA clothed Jasons. And I'm hoping we get more of them. Like, come on, give me a, we need a part four in here. Uh, and then come on, let's get seven, eight, nine going. <laughs> but uh, look at them up there, guys. Oh, just badass. Yeah, so like I said, I pretty much got all the NECA Ultimates and Clothes figures. I'm, I'm kind of thinking about possibly getting, I mean, I, I got to get Ash. You know, they got some Ash uh, NECA Clothes uh, and NECA Ultimates. I got to pick up the Ash ones, you know, from Evil Dead and Army of Darkness and whatnot. So I'll probably get them too. But we do have some other cool ones coming out, uh, like I mentioned, of, you know, for Freddy and Jason. Uh, we also have... Um, um, they got a uh, fog pirate that they're making, and then also the uh, the doctor from Reanimator. So I'm excited about those. There are all, a lot of good stuff coming out from NECA this year. Okay, so I think we're gonna end things uh, on my autograph wall. So let's get this chair out of the way here. Um, so let's see what's new down here. Of course, Richard Dreyfus. I ended up just getting a a photo for him to sign. Badass. So cool. Um, here's Harry Blank over here who played, uh, um, you know, Rudy. Enjoy the popcorn. That's awesome. And let's see what else is new here. Uh, okay, I think we're just down to one more. So we'll just go ahead and end with the prize possession on the autograph wall. Well, other than this. Uh, this obviously is my prize possession, but my second prize possession is right there. Autograph from Tim Curry. Oh, it's just beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> so badass. Love it. All the autographs I've gotten. So kick ass. All right, everybody. I think that'll wrap it up. I think that's pretty much everything new. I hope I didn't forget anything. I try to keep a list of stuff that every time I get a new, uh, something new, I put it on a list so I, I know when I do my update what to share with you guys. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the most part. So I hope you guys, uh, you know, dig the new items. Let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, I think everything uh, it looks really good down here. I got to tell you guys, I'm really getting, I mean, this, this basement is huge, but I'm getting so cramped down here. I'm just running out of room. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do, but uh, I think I got to slow down a little bit, but uh, we'll just keep cramping stuff in, I guess. But yeah, so that'll do it, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Just hit that like button right down below. Uh, drop me a comment. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the pickups, uh, all the new stuff that I got in, uh, for my horror collection. Uh, share the video around. Subscribe if you have not. And don't forget, I, I, I got some uh, exciting news coming very soon, probably in the next week. Um, of uh, something coming up pretty big, uh, you know, horror related. So, uh, look out for that video next week, uh, and, uh, you'll find out what it is. So thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.